Well, how do their charms to Zyg, Captain of the Steves? And today, chums, for you guys in the viewer verse, I'm going to be playing some Robocop. Or oh, actually, I've already played Robocop. And I've got all my best sections of my playthrough of Robocop and stitched them all together. And then I'm going to be giving you my synopsis towards the end of all of that. So yeah, stick around for my final verdict. What am I going to score Robocop out of 10? I quite like the fact that they've added in parts from the movie. So right here, I'm about to go in, I guess, and get my diagnosis done. So I'd imagine we're going to get all the different grid effects and stuff once I work out how to get into this poxy cage because I didn't come There's up with my favorite oh here we go talking law enforcement machine hello okay let's get Tis on. I I was trying the wrong door story of my life yeah I'd say the cut scenes and the uh, transitions between gameplay and cutscene pretty good I'd like to see the other guy am I right you do not trust me <laughs> don't mind me I'll just get this off yeah Probably hasn't got a head left. So here's the deal, Robo. The old man is not happy with your performance. Instead of sending you to the scrapyard, as I suggested, he wants to fix you. So Murphy, good hey, old Murphy. Pretty boy. Thank you. You sure know how to make an impression on the ladies. I quite like these sorts of mission rundowns in this sort of lovely sort of green sort of LED sort of overlay. I got a B rank! Don't like that so much though, people. Don't like that much at all. I have to try through my second play test. But I guess this brings back the longevity. You want to better your scores. So it's all good, these evaluations, even though mine's crap. Oh, this is something I wasn't expecting. There's a frickin' skill tree. Okay, cool, yeah. Well, how do I get into that? Oh, here we go. Combat, okay. Armor, vitality, engineering, focus, scanning, deduction, psychology. Right, well, I'll take a better read of these people and attribute accordingly. Like I was saying, I do like all these cutscenes, especially when you go on missions and you arrive at where you need to be inside of the city. You get to see a fully ray traced Robo Cup, and the you city itself is pretty city, darn it, nice. It'd be easier to burn it all, all to the ground. Believe me, just. Now it's got that grimy sort of DC feel about it. It feels like Batman could be running around this city at any point in time. Give me back my I love money, all the sorts of, of retro nods. I mean, Don't right now we're in a classic arcade here. How cool is this? Hey! This shit is rigged! That's a serious accusation, kiddo. Someone might think I would allow such illegal activity in my high-class business. Which I <laughs> It is not. cheesy, though. I get lost. Just have a little look around all the arcade machines. Can you actually play them? No. But pretty darn freaking sweet, nonetheless. Very cool. Retro stuffage. Oh, and you can also interact with these guys you see green circles on, and you usually get given side quests and missions, not that I'm overly interested in doing many. Now, in some missions, you've actually got to do some detective amuncating work, which involves scanning things, like little individuals. Okay, irrelevant to the case. And you just go around doing this until you sort of find something that is relevant to the case. I mean, I found some puke on the floor earlier. Oh, look, we've got a syringe here. That might get me a warrant. Oh, damn. It didn't. Okay. Looks like there's something behind this arcade machine. Mm, maybe not, then. Let's have a look around. But, yeah. So, there are elements of discovery inside of here. Elements of exploration. But it's also elements of sort of frustration in what I'm supposed to do. I just want to go and annihilate people. Okay, right. We've got a clue here, I guess. Amazing colors, and there's not one but two of you. Oh dear! This isn't good. Your body readings suggest substance misuse. Oh man, a real like TJ laser! You are so incredibly shiny. I'm definitely getting more of this stuff. Who sold you drugs? I really shouldn't say, but you are my TV hero, so. All right, all right. Uh, <laughs> all of the arcade staff will sell to you as long as you got cash. There we go. Bingo, that's what I need. 
But I have a group. By far my favorite part in Robocop is taking out the bad guys. With headshots! Yeah, all good fun. Yeah, torch head, your torch head is now on fire! Oh, you you moved your head. There we go, that, that'll do. I do love those breaky noises. Skull explosions! Who cares? I mean, you can search every room, you can look for loot, but this game isn't really all that loot intensive. But, you know, if you want to get that A rank or whatever, then you're probably going to want to go around and sort of investment gate as well as doing your murdication. You know, I mean, is it murder when it's legal? I don't know. It's just doing your job, isn't it? They have got a lot of these freaking grenades, haven't they? Ouch! That stung! That really stung! I wish I didn't throw grenades all the time. Oh, you can pick up lots of furniture. Okay. That's the first chair I've ever thrown. Nice to know you can do that, though. Okay, have they got turtles? Teenage Mutant Turtles? No, no, they don't! Dang it! Yeah, no. As you're walking around the city, you can inspect parking meters. And sometimes you can issue a car a ticket like I have in this case. Heck yes. Yeah, little side thing you can do. It's a thing. In this case, I saw someone doing some graffiti. He ran away. And look, I can see his footprints using my scanner. He's inside this dumpster. Let's see what he's got to say for himself. <laughs> so what, what, what you gonna do? You, you can't put me behind bars. I, I'm still a kid and only done it once. J just let me off with a warning, will ya? You're being fined. Is your court? There you go. It is yeah. my duty to warn you not to commit that or any violation again. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you. I, I'll do my best not to get caught again. Sweet. There we go. Um, yeah, that's one graffiti artist. Done. What the fudge is over here? There's things everywhere. I just found a stolen watch. Heck yes, all in a day's work. Of Robocop. Now, I do quite like exploring the streets. I like the graffiti art you find in random buildings. I mean, look, there's even an OCP one. They fix everything. I also like the music. I also like the sorts of sounds, you know? The gun is freaking awesome. The destructible environments are pretty cool. I mean, look at that. It's pretty awesome, I guess. Take that can. Oh, fudge and heck. That was a spray can. Lovely, though, isn't it? It's pretty darn cool. It's not the most amazing, but it's, it's bloody good. Okay, now the AI on the bad guys isn't too bad at times. I have shot a couple and they've lost their heads and they just stand there with their heads off, which is quite funny. Not that that happened to either of those two. Oh my days, they got obliterated, didn't they? Holy fudge. This guy did it for a while. He'd done a little ballerina move after his head was blown off. Right, okay. Well, look, every time you find a repair kit, here's a tip. Repair yourself and then pick it up. Who did that? Who's done it? I didn't see you. Sometimes it's a little bit dark and hard to see what's going on, but you know, there we go. Bad guys dead. Captain Steve wins. Heck yes. Perfect. Just walking around the city with all the sounds and all the sights and the reflections, it's just I would say this, this game borders on a work of art. I do indeed, right there. I guess there you are. They all seem to have the same necklace, ass, which is something that um, yeah, uh, Angry Joe picked up on, or his sidekick. I can't remember his sidekick's name, but there we go. Pretty darn freaking swanky. I really do like just walking around the city in between missions. You know, I take my time going from mission to mission. Because it, it is actually a really organic, beautiful city that they've created here. I mean, it's not as majestic as that of cyberpunk, but the attention to detail in such small areas, in confines, is actually really good. I mean, look at the actual shadows as well, and all the light, the lighting. It's just really awesome. I mean, look, look at that. All the lighting just reflecting off the floor. Am I, am I just... I'm hey, being blown Bobo, away. Can you help me out here? Yes, yes I can. There you go, look, you get you get this thing sort of happen all the time. I don't know what that was or where it is. 
at the moment. I'm a little bit lost into what I'm doing. Oh, here we go. We're talking to this copper by the looks of things. Hello there, chap. What do you need? Side mission. Side missions all the time, people. It's great. Okay, and one side quest is pretty interesting. I found a guy that thinks that the whole city is overtaken by aliens. Let's ask him about the aliens. Here we go. I'll let you have a listen. Why do you think that aliens are involved? I saw the guy who dumped the body here. I saw his skin. It was green and glowing like those toy dinosaurs that children play with and years later develop serious diseases from. Okay, uh, that was a bit... Okay, strange. But yeah, I won't ruin any more of this for you. And if you're a cat lover, I have to say the cats in this game are very nicely animated. And their fur looks freaking fantastic. Hello there, my little feline friend. Let me scan you. Thank you. Yes. I can't. There you go. Scanning, scanning. My kitty cat. Ah, oh, he's, 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 he's having a little bath. Thank you. Yes. And there are some pretty awesome nods to the movies. Yes, like this 6000 SUX. I buy that for a dollar. There are some proper odd storylines inside of Robocop. And you know what? I actually really like them. This game is going up in my favor massively. The music in this game has got very big 80s vibes, which I love. I, I like this game. I'm liking it a lot. Right there, everybody. I have to say, a lot of the bad guys though, sound like Krusty the Clown. Yeah, at one point in the game you go for a psych evaluation. The game actually remembers the things that you say and what you say, which is pretty darn sweet. And it sort of ties into the whole lore of Robocop and who you feel you are inside of Game World. Pretty nice. Well, let's see what ranking I get. So I quite like this ranking and stuff, to be honest. I mean, it, it brings back replayability. So let's see how I get on. on. There we go. I got an A! So that's a bit of an advance on my B from last time, so not too bad, heck yes, does feel good. Okay, so at some point in the game you're given your upgrades for your weapon. So yeah, you can put in all these sort of like little modules into this sort of graph to do all sorts of shenanigans into your weapons. So let's stick that into there, okay. I've got to wear this out, this is the first time I've ever done it, so there we are. Okay, righty -o. so yeah, you can upgrade your weapon, so if I get, say, this one, and I put it there, boom, I've just unlocked an extra 5%, I guess I have, brilliant, eh? what else have I got, so I could do that one, which should hopefully work in there, pow, like so, but then I haven't got anything else that can sort of unlock the, the lower tier there. And I haven't got anything else that can do much. Uh, I mean, if I went in there, that's just unlocked a little bit more over there. Well, yeah, it, it, it's a fun one. But yeah, I've got to find some more modules before I can really unlock everything. But yeah, I might be able to do the 15% into the bottom here. Chicka pow! And the only one that I can't do then is that bottom sort of corner one on the shield. Well, the top corner one on the shield. But yeah, I think you get the idea. It's pretty darn freaking epic and awesome lovely okay well i seem to manage to unlock everything inside of my chip thingy because you can do merging of chips as well processes can be salvaged from all devices okay now what i was saying about maybe a lot of the levels being quite linear quite the enemies being fairly similar i've just come across a biker gang and they're on motorbikes here we go bikers okay Okay, well they move a bit quick. Bodge and hack. Whoa, got him! Whoa. Wonder if I can pick this up. I can! Oh, that's gonna sting! Oh, that stung me too. That really hurt my. Oh, my days. I need to repair. Okay, I'm up to back from 50%. God, he took some shooting, didn't he? But at least this mixes it up a little bit, you know? I think he might be the last one left. God, what are you, freaking bulletproof? 
He's going to come out of there again in a bit, isn't he? They follow patterns by the looks of things. Here he comes. Got him. Okay. This does seem to be quite a good weapon throwing this. But I don't know where I'm going to go next. But yep. Yeah, all part and parcel of the fun that is Robocop. I mean, sometimes you do come across the odd glitch. I mean, look at this guy just standing there. I think he's dead, but um, he's still moving. And I can just shoot him as many times as I like. And he just stays there, which is very odd. Very odd indeed. It's like some sort of superhuman. Can I pick him up and throw him? That might that might be better. Nope. And apparently he's still shooting me. Die. That gets ultra violence. Oh yes, heck yes. I do like the fact that there's lots of different levels. Like you're in the city, next you're in there's some sort of construction yard with brains. It's pretty darn freaking awesome, to be honest. I don't know where he just disappeared to. I mean, there are bugs. There are bugs, I'm not going to lie. Some levels require certain sort of expertise to get to the next area. Heck yes! Kaboom! And I'm away. Yeah. Odd little puzzle solving every now and again doesn't hurt to break up the monotony of medication. For all those wondering, are Ed 209s inside of RoboCup? Yes, they are. There it is. One of my hey, favourite robots of every movie in the world. This has to be one of my favourite levels where you're going along with the Ed 209 and you're trying to kill more bad guys than the Ed 209. Freaking awesome fun! And to have him say you have 15 seconds to comply every now and again. Freaking awesome. But you just gotta be careful you don't shoot it. If you shoot him, he shoots you back. And it hurts. Trust me, I've done it a few times by accident. Uh-oh, grenade! Take that you! Roust about! Let's shoot that. Ah! Oh, for fudge sake. Okay, I'm winning. I've got 22, he's got 16. And we're going to keep going. And there are some movie magical here. moments. You now have five seconds to comply for... I said three, everything is two, under control. One. And Your Swiss cheese. Authorized to use physical force. Just like in the movie, just like the original. Freaking awesome. We're doing combat with an Ed 209, people. I love it. But yeah, it has boss fights in a roundabout way. Oh no! I picked it up and he shot it. I was supposed to use him as a weapon. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try and throw explosives at him. Take that! I'll throw a motorbike at him. Where is he? Take that, Ed 209. Holy fuck, I only beat the Ed 209. Freaking get back. Freaking thing. To be like three tries, though, people. Wasn't easy. Heck no, it wasn't. You know what? There's many a time in this Good game in where I've piece, been brother. amazed by the graphics. Mr. Becker was. Some missions have you looking at the city in the daytime, and I must say, in the day, it's freaking awesome. The distance draw level is great, the actual believability, the immersion, it's bang on on point. Freaking love it. I mean, look at it. It's freaking great. So there you go, people. There are all my elements of play that I thought you might enjoy. So hopefully you've enjoyed all of that enough to go and pick up Robocop yourself, because I highly recommend it. Now, what I would say, though, is I don't know whether it's worth the full price. I mean, you're talking about maybe 17 hours or so to 20 hours of play. And if you do the side missions, maybe a little bit longer than that. And if you want to go back and you know get the highest rank possible, then you could be there for quite some time. But uh, yeah, I really enjoyed Robocop. I really enjoyed my time of it. And I probably will pick it up and try and better my score in future. And you know what? I'm going to score this. I'm going to score this an 8.8 .8 out 
out of 10. I mean, that's quite close to a 9, isn't it? And there's a lot of reasons for that. I really like the actual um, music. I liked, I liked all the missions in the end. The cheesiness actually plays into it as you get to some of the later weirder missions, like the guy that thinks that the world's being taken over by aliens and stuff. It's freaking great, okay? Um, yeah, my first impressions, I said that I thought that it was fun but shallow. It's far from that. It has got some depth to it, people. It really has. So yeah, I, I would urge you to go pick it up, especially if you're a Robocop fan. If you're not a Robocop fan, I would say maybe it deserves maybe a slightly lower score, maybe an 8.2 at the lower end of an 8. But it's still a freaking 8 out of 10, you know? I mean, you can equate that and it's padded over 100, so either an 82 if you're not a Robocop fan, because it's still a great FPS game. If you're a massive Robocop fan and a good fan of that, an 8.8. .8. So there's that differential there, people. So that's that's my scoring of Robocop. And um, I would suggest maybe waiting until this one hits the sales or something, because it, it is a lot of money for a, not a lot of game. I mean, it has got longevity in there. It has got life, but only if you're willing to go back in and try and better your scores and try and find all of the uh, vehicles to put tickets on and stuff like that. Even those elements were a little bit had. You know, I just saw them as like window dressing. I didn't really see them as something that I would eagerly go around and do. I mean, that's going to freaking be tedious. Anyway, people, that's my score of Robocop, and I hope you enjoyed my footage. And if you did, hit all those buttons, the like, the subscribe, and all of that, because I'm trying to hit 10 billion subscribers, and we're on 30,000 last time I checked, which is a freaking high number. Yeah, so keep smashing those buttons, people. I guess until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.